It's September, which means fall is coming. You know what happens during fall? Leaves turn orange. You know what else is orange? Home Depot! So the only logical thing would be to make a corset out of stuff from Home Depot. So anyways, I went to Home Depot. How many times can I say the word Home Depot? Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot. Anyway, I went there to find supplies that I can make a corset out of. I had to get creative because how do I make a corset out of stuff? I was thinking duct tape, maybe? Um, I was thinking maybe I could use these paint samples as some sort of thingamajig. I don't know. Wire? I was piecing stuff together because it's Home Depot. Like, it's not... You don't buy sewing stuff at Home Depot. Unless you're me. Let's get down to business. I scrounged together some supplies and here they are. First of all, the fabric. I decided to go with a drop cloth, you know, for painting and stuff because not only is it kind of thick, but like, you know, I like the color. For the corsets boning, I got zip ties. I actually use these for most all of my corsets. I couldn't find anything resembling this kind of corset busk, so I decided to go for a wooden busk style. I got some of these paint stirring sticks to use for that. For the corset lacing, I got this green twine type stuff. I think it'll work okay. For the decorations, I got these washers. I think that they would work nicely as sequins. At first I got them for possible eyelets, but I don't think that would work. I also grabbed some of these paint sample things because not only am I planning on repainting my room, but I'm thinking maybe I could make some sort of flowers out of them. I'm going to try my best to only use things from Home Depot when making this corset. So far, the only things that aren't from Home Depot are the thread and the eyelets. First, I made the corset pattern. I used this old corset pattern I made a while back and I just redrew it on some paper so that way I could tweak it as needed. I think I wanted it a little shorter and like the bust a little higher, so I did that. I cut those out and set them aside and then I made the bias tape for later. Then I contemplated the aesthetic I was going for. It was either this aesthetic or maybe a darker aesthetic. I wasn't sure about the white color, so I cut out a sample swatch so I could dye it and see what that looks like if I wanted the darker aesthetic. Yes, I do want the darker aesthetic. Looks nice. I took my pattern pieces and I plopped them in that dye pot, dye bath, dye rub-a-dub-dub -dub in the tub, something like that. I don't know. It looks nice. Once the pattern pieces were dry, I ironed them and then I drew down my idea for the embroidery that's going in the front. I went for a heart with a nail through it because, you know, nails are sold at Home Depot and it's a Home Depot corset. I played around with bleach to see if I wanted to use that to make the design on the front of the corset, but at the end of the day, I was like, mm, no. So instead, I used a canvas fabric to cut a heart out of, and I decided to go with that, and that way I could just dye it with some of the red food coloring that I had in my kitchen already. Once that problem was solved, I sewed together all of the corset pattern pieces, then I cut out this like rectangle shape for the busk to go in and then I drew out the nail in the canvas as well and I cut that out. You know, it's very Home Depot-y, the Home Depot-y of Home Depot-ness. So the heart did not turn out the shade of red that I really wanted it to be, so I took some of these fabric markers and colored them in. First I colored in the nail actually and did a bunch of shading, and then I colored in the heart to deepen the red color and make it really vibrant and pop pop in your eyes speaking of eyes i drew this eyeball on some canvas and then embroider it onto the heart i used embroidery thread i know that's just one more thing that's not from home depot again i used some beads one more thing that's not from home depot but oh well it's pretty you have to suffer the consequences of my actions also i used those little things you know the washers as a sequence for this heart you know i guess that's from home depot i followed the rules on that so anyways, then I went about the process of pinning and sewing the nail to the front of the corset, and then I sewed the busk pocket thingamajig to the back of the corset for the busk to go in. I trimmed down the seam edges so then I could easily put on the boning channels! Woohoo! Stoked for boning channels! I also like took like the back piece and turned it over so that way eventually I can put the eyelets in. I just sewed that down. And I wanted to add some contrast to the corset so I added some white boning channels. Stoked for contrast! Adds a little pizzazz. Time to insert your zip ties. I just, I cut off that nubby thing, by the way. You take your zip ties and you put them in the boning channels. I sewed on the lovely bleeding eyeball heart and the corset binding and voila, it's, it's there. Now, 
I don't know if you remember Hubert from my Ikea dress video, but he was, he was getting pretty jealous, so I made the little guy a corset too. Once Hubert's jealousy was subdued, I decided to start working on the lace, which I wanted to try to make out of this twine I got from Home Depot, but um, I, I, didn't, I didn't like it at all. So I cut a strip out of that good old canvas and I tried making some trim out of this by pulling some of the weave out until I got this thing. And then I embroidered that onto the corset. I then started working on the eyelets and I did not want to add another thing to the list that was not from Home Depot, so I embroidered those on. Then I put in the green lacing and the corset was done! I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking the title of this video is a lie. She didn't use things from only Home Depot. She used beads and embroidery thread. And I'm here to tell you that I, I don't care. Well, actually, like, the corset was made out of, like, 90% of just Home Depot stuff. So I'm just going to let that pass, you know. I really like how the corset turned out, although I do wish that the nail was more apparent to the eye. It does kind of blend in because it's gray. Better luck next time. Anyways, I took some video of myself with a hammer because, you know, Home Depot. Uh, did I say I love this corset? I really do love it. It's really nice. It is hot because it's like two layers of canvas dot drop cloth. So there's that. Gotta love being sweaty. The tag had said it was part cotton, part polyester. So, you know, I expected it. Hey, Momo. I'm over here. Why are you looking over there? Yeah, that's me. You old lady. Don't mind me, just relaxing against a wall. By the way, I'd like to mention that I grew that pumpkin. Oh, almost dropped the pumpkin. I love you, pumpkin. Please don't smash. No smashing the pumpkins. Oh my god. The amount of sweat under this corset. It is like 95 degrees today. The sweat. <laughs> I forgot to mention I made another corset, a pair of stays in fact. I made these pretty plain because I want to add a bunch of embroidery on them in the future and just over the months like make that accumulate so I don't do it all at once and so I don't get overwhelmed. I was looking for something like this so maybe come back in like four to six months and you'll see this in a video. Or something like it, anyways. It's it's just the inspiration. Oh no, I'm giving you expectations. Thanks for watching. Sorry there weren't more hammers involved.